Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java Coding Exercise Series 1, Getter and Setter. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration and implementation of Getter and Setter methods in Java. Before we get into the Getter and Setter, let's first see what is actually an encapsulation. Getter and Setter methods implementation is one of the feature of encapsulation which is a mechanism of wrapping the data variables and code acting on the data methods together as a single unit. This is also known as data hiding. So what is happening in encapsulation? You have a capsule and inside that capsule, inside the capsule you have so many things and you're just protecting those things from the outside entity or outside world. So this is what the encapsulation, the wrapping the data inside the class. So this is your class and there are your variables and methods and you are protecting these things from outside classes, from other classes. So to protecting these variables in an application, you can use getter and setter methods. So declaring the variables of a class as a private to protecting access from other class, provide public getter and setter methods to modify and view the variable values. Always define variables as private to protect the access of the class. You have to make sure this is very important. Now encapsulation since we whenever the other classes or outside entity try to access the variables or fields directly it will show you the error. We'll see it in the demonstration that will be more clear. Now let's see the what is actually a get method. When we have an application and that application suppose we have a bank and inside the bank all the information is very sensitive and very confidential. So we have to make sure in the bank we have the client name, client balance, client date of birth, client uh, address and many such values. They are comes in a variable. So in a class of bank we are going to have these variables as a private. Now from get method these variables are going to define and, and uh, getting the value from the user before accessing. So get method is used to obtain or retrieve a particular variable value from a class and that class has a private variables all these variables. The standard definition of get method is access modifier written type get the method name you can mention it and return keyword with the returning variable. For example, public string get name and return name and the closed. So if you have a bank class and inside that we have a client name a variable that is mentioned as a private and we are going to have the get client name method and returning the client name. Now similarly we have a setter method. The set method is used to update the value of a variable. Now that variable is privately defined. So we need to make sure our variable whenever the user is trying to access that variable it will show you the error and it has to get through the set method. The standard definition of get set method is access modifier void is your uh, not returning any type and uh, set the method name argument list declaration and for example you have public void set client name string now this is argument is going to be a rename the updated value so the new name and this new name is going to be assigned with the help of the this operator now this keyword will provide reference to instance of constructor this keyword will provide reference to instance of constructor and set the values to the private variable constructor is nothing but the method which we create and which automatically create in Java when we create a class with the same name, the class name. And that function, we'll cover this topic in detail in next sessions in Java course. And since it's a vast topic to discuss, so for now, just understand what is this keyword is doing. It's just referring the instance of constructor and getting the value from that method and assigning it to the new variable. 
Now let's take a look at the demonstration. So for example, what we are going to do, we are going to have a bank application that has a client ID, client first name, client last name, client balance as a private variable in the bank class. And we are going to get the values and set the values from the another class. Let's code on. So let's have a Java project. And uh, this is your get set method demo. Inside this method, I am going to have a package. Inside this package, I'm going to create a class and that has a bank class. Inside this bank class, I am going to first have the private string client name. So just make it simple and I'll have the client name variable instead of first name and last name. ID. and balance i'm just getting the three variables balance and all three of them are privately defined to protecting my variables from other class now let's implement the getter method first so getter method says you need to have the return type and here we are going to retrieve the client name and no arguments and inside this method we need to return the client name similarly for your id and just like that, we are going to have the balance. Get a method for balance. Now we did the get method. Now let's do the set method. For set method, we need to make it public void set client name. And here, we are going to use new client name variable. And inside this, we are going to use your client name equals new client name with the this operator. Rest, you are going to make the same thing for your ID. And the next is your balance. New balance. So my getter and setter methods is uh, protecting my private variables in the bank class. Now let me create another class by name is client which has a main method which is trying to access my private variables in my bank class. So inside the mat inside the client I'm just going to create a object of my And uh, 
just uh, in case if we need to get the values from the user we can have a scanner object created in advance import the java util package So if you want to see why, what, hap, what will happen when we try to access our bank uh, variable, private variable, which is not, which is privately exercised. So we cannot, we have the, suppose we have the uh, balance, right? That is not accessible. So it is showing me error. So this is not possible with the help of, without uh, encapsulation so this is protecting our balance variable from the bank class since it is a privately specified you cannot access to overcome this error what we can do we can simply have an object of that class and set the ID as client half and uh, print it. So this will not show you any error. Client ID is. Now to implement it in a proper form what we can do we can just use the scanner and string client id equals scan dot next since it's a string type so i'm just going to here so this what what will happen in this case we need to just ask user one more step enter client id so we are asking user to enter the id and then that id will be assigned to this local variable and this local variable will set the value to the client id where we have the bank class here this will invoke this ID and here this operator will assign that ID to the new ID and that will go to the get and assign it to the value and you can retrieve this. So basically it's communicating in a complicated way but when it, you have a sensitive application there it is very useful. So you need to make sure you're using the getter and setter methods precisely. So just like for ID, you can you do it for the client name and balance and execute it. So enter client name, client name, and you can use that name and name. Now here we are going to use int since we are going to have the balance and set oh sorry we need to make new more changes another thing is you need to change your set client name method and here set balance method Okay, this is supposed to be int type and uh, client name, client name, id, id and this will be your balance, this dot balance, new balance, why this client name. Balance. Now let's take a look at the execution of getter setter method for bank application. Client ID 
client name balance client balance is this one so what is happening the bank class has the private variables and getters and setters method for these variables client class wanted to access these values these values from the bank class but they are privately defined so we need to use getter and setter methods and that method will give you the access to get and set the values important facts getters and setters encapsulate the fields of a class by making them accessible only through its public methods and keep the values themselves private that is considered to be a good object oriented principle getters and setter methods are used to get set set the values of x which is the way to achieve encapsulation benefits of encapsulation the fields of a class can be made as read only or write only a class can have total control over what is stored in its fields and it is also known as accessor and mutator in order to use the getter and setter features efficiently is make sure you have a very large and sensitive application which has a confidential information and you need to protect that information from outside the world so this is all about the getter and setter method implementation in the next session we are going to show you xml parsing file and uh, using dom and sax api so stay tuned for any concern issues feedback or source code or any assistance please contact the crunch 2019 at gmail.com subscribe for more upcoming interesting videos let's make coding fun thank you